What's going on hustlers? Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here a big special warm welcome to you because this video is for you specifically. We're going to be talking about how to sell products to the US government, specifically the Defense Logistics Agency. And we're going to talk about why we want to deal with them specifically in a little minute, but I want to explain the reason why I'm making this video even though my channel is about super niche, super specific stuff. Shout out to the good folks over at YouTube because all of the insights and analysis that they give me actually provided me with some useful insight. The first of which being, and the purpose for this video, is that so many of you guys are new viewers. So if you are looking to do business with the US government and you haven't before, or maybe you're doing business with the federal government or your state government or your local government, but you're not doing product sales and you want to get into it, then keep watching because this video is for you. I'm going to tell you how to do it step by step, everything that you need to do, where you need to go to get the stuff, how you want to go about getting it, the rules that you need to follow and all that good stuff. But before we get into the video, please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content or if you find this video informative hit the like button, leave a comment, share your thoughts, any feedback is always appreciated. And if you're new here and you want to join us on the journey to 10,000 subscribers, then hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into the video. We're going to be talking about how to sell products to the U.S. government. Fun fact, before we even get started, you don't even have to be living in the U.S. to do this. You just have to own a business or file a company, an LLC. You don't even have to be a U.S.-based company to sell stuff to the U.S. government, by the way. Uh, as long as you have an entity with like a tax ID number, you can actually register on SAM.gov and get a CAGE code. CAGE stands for Commercial and Government Entity Code. It's like a social security number for your business. I have a video on that. Check out all the playlists on my YouTube channel. Literally, they're broken up into tutorials. They're broken up into like how to build your business. They're broken up into like wins and losses, success stories, all that good stuff. So check out the playlist on my channel if you want to figure out how to do that and you're watching this from like Singapore or something. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about how to sell products to the US government. So how does it work, right? You hear a lot of people on the internet talking about, okay, government contracting, what is it? What does it mean? So for context, to give you guys like a little bit of ethos, establishing credibility with you guys, my audience, the viewers, my name is Day Cantave. I'm 22 years old. I've done over $3 million in revenue with the US government part-time. I've went, oh, that was working well part-time. And I've done over 130 contracts myself, like bid on one, successfully shipped, invoice got paid. And then I've been an account manager with two other companies. And then I'm also a commercial pilot and I'm getting ready to take my CFI check ride to become a certified flight instructor. And I also run marathons. Why did I add those last two things in there? Because I routinely do hard sh you should never take advice from anybody who doesn't do hard sh because that means that they don't keep the promises that they make to themselves. So why the hell would they keep the promises that they make to you? Anyways, if you want to look that up, you can just, you know, Google me, check me out on LinkedIn. You can find all that stuff. And then if you don't believe the numbers that I'm talking about, you can look up the cage code of the company that I helped build, my family's company. I helped take it from zero to eight figures in revenue, and the cage code is 8 Bravo Papa Echo 2. The company's name is Two Lions Aerospace. You guys can go check that out. Legit check me if you want. Pause the video, figure out I know what I'm talking about, and then come back to this. I don't blame you. There's a lot of people on the internet selling a lot of bullshit, so I get it. Anyways, first things first. Basically, the government, they post like a shopping list, all right? They tell you exactly what they want, and there's a bunch of different places that you could go to get exactly what it is that the government is, is looking for, but we want to be uh, in product sales specifically, and we want to be focusing on the Defense Logistics Agency because they don't require you to write proposals. So it's entirely data entry based. You literally just type numbers into a field. You type numbers and letters into a field. You can submit a bid on a contract for some products in less than 60 seconds. If you're brand new and you're just starting out, I'm not going to romanticize it and sell you guys like some BS. It'll probably take you about five to 10 minutes to do it. But once you get good at it, you can do it in under 60 seconds. So they post a shopping list and they post it on this website called Dibs. Dibs is an acronym. The government uses a lot of acronyms, so I'm going to break them down for you. Check me out on Instagram. Hit me up if you want my free acronym sheet. It's link in my bio completely free. Breaks down all the acronyms that the government uses. It stands for the Defense Logistics Agency Internet Bid Board System. Dibs is basically just like a user interface where you can go look at the shopping list that the government has posted for a bunch of stuff. 
and then they literally will tell you how much of the stuff they want, they'll tell you who they want it from, they'll tell you when they want it by, they'll tell you like the units that they want it in, they'll tell you the companies, they'll tell you pretty much everything that you need to know about where to get all the stuff, right? So now the next thing that you want to do once you like looked at the government shopping list, and you can go on this website free, right? You don't have to pay for it, and it's it's open to the public. It's public information. You can just go in there and browse. You want to pick some items that interest you. Um, you can watch my video on how to do market research and how to pick a product. I also have another video on seven tips when picking a product. So you can check that out in the playlist section of my channel. But back to this video, once you've picked a, a product, right? And then you've decided, okay, this is what I wanna go after. I wanna fulfill this contract opportunity right here. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get a quote. So a quote literally is just something in writing that states the pricing and the availability of the item or the product that you're looking for. So we'll tell you how much the item's gonna cost, when they're gonna ship it to you. And when I say they, I mean your vendor or distributor. So basically what you're doing is you're middlemanning. You're not middlemanning in the sense of like the other government contracting stuff like services where you have no involvement and then you just pay people to do the work for you. You're middlemanning in the sense that the government wants an item, somebody manufactures the item, and then you're gonna buy it from them and sell it to the government. And the caveat, the reason why you will get paid the big bucks by doing this is because you're gonna have to package, inspect, and ship the item um, you can drop ship it. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that that's not an option. However, it can eat into your margins if you're gonna pay somebody else to drop ship it. If you guys want a video about how to drop ship um, to DLA, how to drop ship product sales, I can make a video about that. We can talk about that. And I have a company that does it, very respectable company that I can point you guys in the direction to. Comment down below if you wanna know about how to drop ship stuff. Anyways, so you're going to get a quote from the vendor, the person that's selling it. And the reason the government's buying it from you is because the government has a certain amount of money allocated in their budget every single year that they have to spend with small businesses. And when you're doing business with the US government, the two factors that will qualify or the two criteria that you have to meet to be considered a small business are either your employee size or your revenue number. And in most instances, it's 500 employees or 250, or I wanna say, yeah, $250 million. And it depends on your NAICS code. And your NAICS code is a classification of the kind of industry or product market that you're in. And it really depends on your NAICS code, but for the most part, if you're a beginner, you're gonna be considered a small business anyways. So you're gonna be eligible for these contract opportunities that the government has set aside for companies like us, the little guy. So now that we understand that, we're gonna, like we said, get a quote. You're gonna reach out to your vendor, your distributor, you're gonna get a quote, and ideally you wanna get it in writing. Worst case scenario, you can do a print PDF because I made a video teaching you guys how to sell stuff from Amazon, Home Depot, Walmart, all that good stuff. Worst case scenario, you wanna get a print screen PDF at least. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna submit a bid. So you wanna go onto the Defense Logistics, Logistics Agency Internet Bid Board System, and then you wanna click on the contract opportunity, and then you wanna click quote, and then you wanna enter in information about how long it's gonna take for you to ship it to the government, how much you are gonna sell it to the government for, like the price, the PPU price per unit. You're gonna wanna put in like the country that it was manufactured in. So you're gonna wanna ask these questions when you're getting your quote. And then sometimes there's some certain requirements that you need to bid on some contracts and they won't prohibit you from being able to bid on them, but they will lower the priority of your of your bid. But stuff that you can find on the internet, right? Like commercial off the shelf items, that's not gonna be stuff that's gonna be like super intensive in terms of like the certifications or the paperwork that you're gonna have to fill out to be eligible for that, for that stuff. And then let's fast forward, like let's say a couple weeks or a couple months, maybe even a couple days, right? I've had instances where I've bid on stuff at 8 a.m. in the morning and at 6 p.m. when I'm eating dinner with my family, the government's awarded the contract. But um, on average, it takes a couple days to a couple weeks to win a contract. Uh, you're looking at about like two weeks, right? So how it works is eventually you'll have a pipeline. So you'll be winning contracts like daily as you're submitting, you know, multiple per day. So you start in, let's just say today's, it's September. Let's just say you start in October, the entire month of October, you're submitting contracts. And then um, let's say in November, you're winning the contracts that you submitted in October while continuously bidding on new contracts. And then at that point you have a pipeline and then it becomes, you know, a business and that's your business model, right? So in the beginning, it does take some startup time. Um, I'm not here to pitch you guys 
anything at all, all the stuff on my YouTube channel is completely free and I do my best to give you guys more than enough to win your, your first contract but I, I am going to be transparent I do run like an online coaching company and our thing is we teach you guys how to do it in under 45 days for $500 or less in terms of startup costs right like stuff that you're going to need to buy you know be able to tangibly run the business so we teach you guys how to do it in $500 or less in under 45 days winning your first contract if you're a startup and then for an established company, our goal is to help you win a contract of you know your desired size within 45 days. And thus far, we haven't had anybody not hit that goal. But anyways, back to the video. So then once you've won the contract, you now have to purchase it and then you have to package it. And the cool thing about it is the government gives you very clear instructions on how they want you to package everything. It literally is in the contract. You can actually even see upfront before it's even a contract when it's a solicitation. And solicitation is just a fancy way of saying contract opportunity, meaning the government is soliciting firms to procure the material on their behalf. In stupid people terms, the solicitation is just an opportunity for you to win a contract and the government wants you to fill out the paperwork so they can make their evaluation and determine if they want to give the contract to you. So you can even see in the solicitation, like the contract opportunity, what the government is going to require of you to package it. So you can evaluate that upfront, determine if you want to do it. Then once you win the contract, you buy the material, you package it. Sometimes the packaging, you can literally ship it in the same box that it came in and you just put the government's label on there and then you send it to them and then they will give you this portal called the VSM where you can print out like your government shipping label and your military tracking label and all that good stuff, right? So you print out those labels, you ship it to the government and then they give you another portal where you can go and then this is the important part, stay with me now. You can tell the government that you shipped it to them, you give them your tracking number. It's called the Procurement Integrated Electronic Enterprise or PI is the acronym. And then you go into, into WAF, which is Wide Area Workflow. And that's where you can submit your, essentially your paperwork or the information that you need to get paid. So that's pretty much an overview of how to sell products to the government. This is a gonna be less than a 15 minute video. It is an oversimplification, obviously, but I did make an effort to classify everything that you're going to need into different playlists on my channel. So if this video interests you or you like the way the business model sounds, check that out. Hit me up on Instagram, check out the link in my bio. I have two free PDFs, one of them on step-by-step, -step, how I took my client from $100,000 to $500,000 in under nine months doing business with the federal government and product sales. We 5 x his revenue in under nine months. And then I have another free sheet, completely free, on uh, breaking down all of the acronyms that the government uses. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you watched all the way until the end, if you found the video informative, leave a like, leave a comment if you got any feedback, and subscribe if you want to be a part of the journey that we're on the 10,000 subscribers. It was an absolute pleasure kicking it with you guys today. Not only am I looking forward to your success, I am absolutely sure of it. Let's go print those dollars.